I'm going to meet somebody who's exploring that quality of VR to help change attitudes. Barry. Hey. Filmmaker Barry Powsman. In 2015, the United Nations faced falling contributions to the ongoing Syrian refugee crisis. To try and combat this compassion fatigue, they commissioned Clouds Over Sidra, an immersive film shot in the Zatari refugee camp in Jordan. Uh, when I got back from that experience, I realized like, oh my gosh, this is such a powerful tool. We have a big uh, opportunity here to make a lot of impact in the world. The immersive nature of the film means each viewer can choose a different perspective on life here. If you're learning content through VR, you tend to be interacting a lot more than if you're just reading it straight off a book. We're taking it in, we're retaining it in different ways because we've interacted with the content. Totally. So it's, uh, it's quite a different approach. You feel like, oh God, I gotta do something right here. In this moment, I have an opportunity, I can do something right, let me do that. Compassion is a hard thing to measure, but after the film was shown at a UN fundraiser, the aid program received a huge boost. Hmm. And they expected $2.3 billion. They ended up raising $3.8 billion. So that's an extra wow. billion and a half dollars in a 24-hour moment with one film. It's a behavior change. The film is undoubtedly moving, although it's hard to be certain how much of the fundraising boost was down to VR itself. 